Hi, my name is Anthony Romarell, and welcome to CG for Me. So, we're going to work on this pig some more. And the plan is to, I, want, I need to show you how to work in a Maya Photoshop pipeline. So, I have a material on here and I have a nice texture. I want to show you how I got some of this into Photoshop. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my perspective slash UV texture editor, select my pig. And you can see my UV grid here. If I were to have assigned a material, say an existing material like Lambert 1 by default, this is what it would look like. And if I want these UVs to go into Photoshop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Polygons, and I'm going to say UV Snapshot. And I want to be selective about what I'm using, depending on your version of Photoshop. So I'm going to, I'm going to select a target file. I'm also going to select a fairly high res version. Now remember textures, what you need to know is textures in Maya uh, load into your video card, so you want them in multiples of two. So here I'm doing 2048 by 2048. And just be mindful as to where this is putting your file. So I'm just going to hit the OK button. And I already have a file that's going to overwrite it. I'm going to say yes. And it has, right here, it has given me the location of that file. And a little trick on the Macintosh is I can just open a terminal window, type in open, and paste the location of that file, and it'll load it up here. It opened it up in preview, which is fine, but it's showing the alpha channel with the UV texture, so it uh, looks a little strange. Let me just grab this icon, drag it to Photoshop. And here is my UV snapshot with an alpha channel. I don't want my, I'm going to put this back into my and I don't want it to read it. So I'm just going to throw this alpha channel away for now. And in my layers palette, I'm going to double click this background. Let's say, okay, make it layer zero. I'm going to switch it to a multiply mode. And I'm going to put a new layer underneath it. And this will be the layer that I'm coloring in. And I, actually, I don't want this to be multiply. I want this to be screen. So this new layer. I'm going to just flood this with a pink color. And I'm going to start painting the pig. So if I were to work on the eyes, let's say I pick a white, col a white color. And I'll just draw an outline. And you'll notice that I'm painting on the background layer. And what I'm going to do is just right away just save this file. And I'm going to be selective as to where I'm putting it. I want to put it in my default folder in Maya. I'm going to put it in source images. I'll put it under pig. And I'll just call this pig progress. I'll hit save. And I'll go back to Maya and I'll just create a new material. So I'm just going to say uh, assign a new material. I'll make it a Lambert. And I'm going to click this button. This is a new, another way you can create uh, a texture or link a texture. I'm going to click this button here, add a file, and load that file. And here it is, pig progress. Just open that up. And here is the grid. The reason it's showing the grid is because this is what's showing in Photoshop. If I were to turn the grid off and save it, I can go back to Maya. And I'm going to switch off UV mode and go into my hypergraph. And just select this texture file. I'm going to right click here and say graph materials right here on selected objects and I'm going to make sure so I'm going to give these some names here so this instead of being Lambert 8 it'll be pig material and pig color and if I have this color select, I'll just hit reload. And the grid will disappear, but the eyes are still there. 
and I can go along and continue to work back and forth between Maya and Photoshop. So from this stage you're going to work between the two programs and finish off uh, this texture so that you can get a little bit closer to what I have here. For example, uh, if I go back to assign existing material and I'll say pick color matte. Try that one more time, assign existing material, pick color matte. And uh, this is a little better version. I can actually, and I should, and I will go through and do a little bit more final paint. But at this point, it's just the artistry of it. Now you can go through, use, you can use photography, you can paint it. Um, you can paint it in Maya, which we'll talk about another time. But uh, now it's just a matter of taking the time and getting this together exactly to look exactly how you want it.